Okay, I want you to really watch how I drive the sewing machine here. I usually do it by the fabric that's actually already gone through the sewing machine. I use it to kind of direct how I want, and then my other hand just kind of keeps things flat, and I can kind of just, just keep driving it wherever I want. Press stop, because we got to the end there. But that gives you an idea how, how I like to, I don't know why I do it that way, maybe that's how I, I learned how to do it, but um, that's, that's how we do it here. Just by whatever's already gone through really is a helpful way for you to, rather, you, you can't push it through, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to, you have to keep it flat, I guess you can, I'm doing it, but it's better from the other side. Okay, okay that's like six for me, so that gives, gives you an idea, okay, that's what I'm looking for here, is just a really ugly uh, pillow. So now what you need to do is grab the nice fancy scissors and trim off all the excess threads. Now this is not a great sewing job because these threads have a chance of coming undone, of course, because we didn't do a lock stitch at the beginning of them. That's what you're going to learn in the next video, and that is how to do a lock stitch, okay? I got all the ones from the front side of it done. Flip it over and then trim off. Make sure all these get into the garbage, okay? Because it makes a big mess in my room but trim off all the long threads from the back of it as well. So there should be 12, you know, uh, two, since there's four from each one you do. Sorry, that should be 24. Lots and lots of long threads here. I got a few more left on this side here. Okay, so you see I'm all nice and trimmed, but if you look closely, you can also see that uh, it could potentially come undone, and that's not good, right, for our sewing. So let's move on to the next step, which is how to do a lock stitch at the beginning of all of our um, sewing here. And I do it naturally, so it was really actually hard for me to sew this and not put it on there. So I'm going to do another one. Uh, let me do a straight line again, try to do a straight line. So drop the shoe. Okay, so how you do a lock stitch. At the beginning and end of every stitch, every piece of sewing, continuous stitch that you do, you use the reverse button and you just eat, eat, you reverse over it again. And it's, it goes nice and slow. But I reverse about half to three quarters of a centimeter on both ends. So, so with this camera here, really watch what I do here. So I press start. It goes forward a little bit, I hold down reverse, so I back up over my same line, and then I go forward, okay? And I'm gonna do a straight line on this one, so I'm just gonna let it just go. And then you just sew just like normal, just like we were doing in the other ones. And then as I get near the end, instead of pressing stop, I'm getting ready, and I press reverse. I reverse about three quarters of a centimeter, come back on it, then press stop. The needle raises up, I pull it out. Let me just trim this here, and I'll show it to this camera right here. It's kind of hard to see. It's, it's a little doubled up right there, okay? And now when I trim that off the loose thread, that's never going to come undone because there's so much sewing right there, it's as if I tied a knot in it. So it is a really great, it's called a lock stitch. Um, I, maybe it's not, I mean, that's what I've always called it. That's what my mother called it. And, and now that one, of all the ones on here, that one's not going to come undone. The other ones might pull out and might not be that great, but that one's going to stay. So I want you to do at least three of those. And they can be straight lines if you don't have to worry about running it all around, but do three and practice doing the lock stitch. Because from now on, that's what we do it. Every time we start a stitch, we, we go forward about a centimeter, back about three quarters, and forward. And then as we finish it, we rewind forward and then stop, okay? So you should get really at a good habit of doing that. In the next video, we're gonna put the pillow, the two pieces of the pillow together so that we can stuff it.